Hi, I'm Lee Chantel from VivaLaVegan.net and it's nearing the end of the year. I'd like to thank you for your um, viewing this year. I'd like to thank you for the different people who share this and the comments and the interaction online, in particular with YouTube and Google+. We're also on Facebook and Twitter. And um, I hope you have a really good silly season, whatever you do with people who you care about. Make sure you check out my Viva La Vegan cruelty free Christmas vegan recipes if you haven't already. There's 48 recipes in there, over 70 pages of information and a lot of photos. And I'd like to just end this year on a good question from my friend Peter Farris from Perth in Australia. And he asks, how do you remain positive in a not so positive world? This question from Peter actually was part of the AR Zone interview that I did a few years ago and you can have a look at the links below to, to see that. And so I'm going to answer Peter's question today and I hope it helps you. So to remain positive in a not so positive world, I choose to be positive. That's the main thing and that's the main thing I've worked on over over the years as well. I surround myself with like like-minded people and that doesn't necessarily have to mean vegan people it just means people that you can have a great conversation about different things with whether it's like you know um, things that I like talking about like online publishing or online income streams passive income streams music writing and all those sort of things you know you need to find people that are like-minded and on the same life path as you and that are positive people that are really for me people that are goal-focused and Walking, working towards their dreams like I am, I really get on really well with these people. Um, I get rid of negative people, negative situations, negative thoughts and self-limiting beliefs. I stay clear from drama and people who escalate drama. There seems to be a lot more people like that online now because it's just so easy to do. And so I stay clear from those sort of things. And I also um, even try not to be on social media as much either. I focus on things that I have control over and I forget about the things I don't because it just really does your head in if you, if you can't really grasp that. I enjoy all aspects of my life and I try to be effective in all areas and it's that whole thing of working smarter not harder as well and you know I feel like I'm in a great place I'm working towards the things that I want to achieve in my life and I'm if I'm not if I haven't already achieved certain things I'm in I'm in the process of making them happen and that's a pretty amazing feeling when you have that. I always search for the positives in every aspect of my life and sometimes you can't find them for a while but once I learn the lesson and then I move on. I make sure that I do my favourite things as much as I can. Every morning I start the day with swimming laps in the pool or the local pools and I love that and it's gets me moving, gets me exercise as well and I love travel, I love adventures, I love road trips, I love watching Australian Football League, the AFL and my team, the Brisbane Lions. I love reality TV, I love the beach, I love the sun, I love yoga, I love astrology, I love reading, I love op shopping or thrift store shopping, I love dancing, I love singing, music, nature, animal sanctuaries as well. So make sure you do at least one thing that you love every week. You really need to. Also, I haven't had a massage for a while. I used to have them in Asia like just about every few days because I was so cheap there. So that's one thing I have to do very soon. I'm going to have a great massage. I look after my mind, my body and my soul and I, you know, try to read really inspiring books and Every day I read something inspiring and I have this little inspiration book that I write things in. I read over those things all the time. I love sayings and quotes, um, inspiring quotes, and I try to share them all the time online as well. I, um, yeah, reading books and reading and watching things that are really inspiring or going to art shows and watching music that inspires you, that's great. Um, I sleep in, I drink a lot of water and I don't pollute my body with poisons and for me that includes alcohol, that includes caffeine, cigarettes and drugs and um, you know that 
that for me is really good and that really helps my my head and my heart and my soul become really clear by not having all these things I still struggle a bit with the sugar but I'm working on that every now and then <laughs> um, I take my goals really seriously but I never take myself too seriously I have dreams and I work hard to make them happen and I suggest that you surround yourself with people that do the same thing because that will sooner or later rub off, rub off on you, I hope. Um, I, I found this great article years ago, I think it was like 2003 or something, um, so 10 years ago, there you go. Um, and it's a website about Kabbalarian philosophy and it's called The Kabbalarian Ethics of Right Thinking and it's by the founder of Kabbalarian philosophy, Alfred J. Parker. I'll share the link below because I really think you should read that. It's the first thing that I wrote out in my inspiration book. So, um, have you know, good luck with the silly season. It's really hard for a lot of us people you know, it's it's a it's a really hard time of year when everyone is just gorging on stuff that they don't need, spending money for things that they don't need and they can't afford, and trying to promote love and peace and happiness when they're really doing the opposite. So, you know, make sure you download my ebook about the silly season and the Christmas recipes and have a look at the blog as well. And I have um, my Christmas wish list video that you can watch. And good luck and surround yourself with people that you like. Do something different. If you're sick of doing the same thing all the time, do something different. And, um, you know, I really hope you have a great holiday season and I look forward to seeing you early in 2014. Thank you so much for your support this year. Take care.